hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about top 20 interview questions of our automated desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started so the first question is what is power automate desktop power automate desktop is a tool that allows users to automate repetitive tasks on their desktop using a visual interface. For example, it allows you to automate tasks like copying data from an Excel file to a web form. You can create a flow that opens Excel, reads the data, and then fills out the web form automatically. Second question is, how do you create a new desktop flow in Power Automate Desktop? So you can create a new desktop flow by opening Power Automate Desktop, clicking on new flow and then using the drag and drop interface to add actions. You can also create a desktop flow from Power Automate portal, which will eventually open the designer in Power Automate Desktop. For example, Open Power Automate Desktop, click on New Flow, name your flow Weekly Report Automation and start adding actions like Launch Excel or Read from Excel Worksheet. Next question is, what are the main components of Power Automate Desktop? The main components include actions, variables, UI elements and subflows. For example, click button, variables, you can name the variable as customer name, UI elements like a login button and subflows a reusable login sequence. So these are components of Power Automate Desktop. Next question is what are actions in Power Automate Desktop? So actions are the building blocks of a flow representing individual steps like clicking a button, entering text or extracting data. For example, actions are steps like open browser, navigate to URL and click element. For instance, to automate logging into a website, you would use actions to open the browser, navigate to the login page and enter credentials. Next question is how do you handle errors in Power Automate Desktop? You can handle the errors by using try catch blocks to manage exceptions and ensure the flow continues or logs the error. For example, you can use try catch block to handle errors. If a file download fails, the catch block can log the error and send an email notification. But in Power Automate Desktop, we do not have any action called try catch. Instead, we have on block error action which can be used to handle the errors. Now next question is what are variables in Power Automate Desktop? So variables store data that can be used and manipulated throughout the flow. For example, variables store data such as order ID or total amount. You can use a variable to store the result of a calculation and then use it in subsequent actions. Next question is how do you use UI elements in Power Automate Desktop? So UI elements are used to interact with the user interface of applications such as clicking buttons or entering text in fields. For example, UI elements are used to interact with application interfaces. For example, you can capture a submit button on a form and use it in an action to click on the button. The next question is what is a subflow and how is it used? So subflow is a reusable sequence of actions that can be called from multiple places within a flow. For example, create a subflow for logging into a system and call this subflow from different main flows whenever login is required. The next question is how do you debug a desktop flow? Debugging can be done using the built-in debugging tools such as breakpoints 
and a step by step execution. For example, use a breakpoints to pause the flow at specific points and step through actions to identify the issues. For instance, if a flow fails to find a Y element, set a breakpoint before the action and check the element's properties. Next question is what are the different types of flows in Power Automate? Different types of flows include desktop flows and cloud flows. And cloud flows also have automated, instant and scheduled flows and business process flows. So basically we have desktop flows, cloud flows and business process flows. For example, desktop flows automate tasks on your computer. Cloud flows automate tasks across cloud services and business process flows guide users through business processes. For instance, a cloud flow can trigger a desktop flow to run a report. Next question is how do you optimize the performance of a desktop flow? To optimize the performance, you can minimize the unnecessary actions using conditions and filters and distribute load across machines. For example, you can use conditions to skip unnecessary actions. If a report is only needed for sales over $10,000, add a condition to process only those records. This way you can optimize your desktop flow performance. Next question is what is the role of connectors in Power Automate? So connectors allow Power Automate to interact with various services and applications enabling data exchange and automation. For example, connectors link Power Automate to external services. You can use the SharePoint connector to automate file updates to SharePoint library. Next is how do you secure sensitive information in a desktop flow? To secure sensitive information in a desktop flow, you can use interrupted variables and you can use secure connections to handle sensitive data like passwords. For example, you need to store passwords in a secure vault and retrieve them at runtime. Use encrypted variables to handle sensitive data like API keys. Next is what are some common use cases for a Power Automate desktop? Common use cases include data entry automation, report generation, and application integration. For example, you can automate data entry from emails to a CRM system. You can generate an email, weekly reports, or scrape data from websites for analysis. Next is how do you handle data extraction from web pages in Power Automate Desktop? You can use web automation actions to navigate, extract, and manipulate data from web pages. For example, use web automation actions to navigate to a web page, extract data from specific elements, and store it into a variable or a file. Next is, what is the difference between the attended and unattended automation? This is very important question, which is very frequently asked in interview questions. So attended automation requires user interaction while unattended automation runs without user intervention. For example, attended automation requires user interaction like a flow that assists a customer service agent. Unattended automation runs without user intervention like a nightly data backup process. The next question is how do you schedule a desktop flow to run at a specific time? You can use the scheduling options in Power Automate or integrate the cloud flows to trigger the stop flows at specific times. For example, use the scheduling options in Power Automate or integrate with the cloud flows. For instance, schedule a desktop flow to run every Monday at 8 am to generate a weekly report. So if you want to schedule a desktop flow, you can create a cloud flow and from there you can call run a desktop flow action from the cloud flow and you can choose the desired desktop flow that you want to run. Next is what are some best practices for creating maintainable desktop flows? 
So best practices include using descriptive games, modular design, thorough testing and proper documentation. For example, you must use descriptive names for actions and variables. You need to modularize review tasks in subflows and document each step. For instance, name a variable customer email instead of where what. Next is how do you integrate Power Automate Desktop with other Microsoft services? Integration can be done using connectors and cloud flows to connect with services like SharePoint, Outlook and Microsoft Teams. For example, you can use connectors and cloud flows to integrate with services like SharePoint, Outlook and Teams. A cloud flow can trigger a desktop flow to process incoming emails and update a SharePoint list. The next question is what are the licensing options for Power Automate Desktop? So licensing options vary including free versions with limited features and premium plans with advanced capabilities. For example, licensing options include a free version with basic features and premium plans with advanced capabilities. The free version allows basic desktop automation while premium plans offer more connectors and cloud flow capabilities. So these are the few interview questions of Power Automate Desktop. If you like this video, please click on the like button and please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, please post it in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.